Hey folks, welcome back to another video. It's me again, Paul, and I have a question for you. Have you ever wondered how to make your visual storytelling more compelling? Or have you ever felt like your visuals were missing that extra mmm? Now, in this part of the series, we are deep diving to the incredible world of color and its impact on your visual storytelling. So let's get it on right now. <laughs> Alright, so now let's talk about the emotional roller coaster that colors can take your audience on. Imagine you're using a deep, passionate thread in your scene. It can convey love, but it can also signify danger. Think about the iconic red dress in Schindler's List. It draws you in, right? With its intensity, making you feel both love and, of course, that imminent threat. Now, color can also be used for character development. Imagine this, your hero is draped in the shades of blue and silver. It not only signifies trust and reliability, but it also portrays their inner calmness. Meanwhile, the antagonist, rocking dark, ominous black, can represent their mysterious and morally gray character. Remember Neo in The Matrix or Darth Vader in Star Wars? black. Of course, if you would remember Lord of the Rings from Gandalf the Grey, then on the third sequel, it's Gandalf the White, showing a transition from being a regular mage to a very powerful wizard. That is the power of color. Colors set the stage as well. Take sepia tones. They transport you to a bygone era. Think of the movie The Artist where black and white cinematography instantly immerses you in the world of silent films. On the flip side, neon lights like Blade Runner immediately establishes a futuristic dystopian atmosphere. Of course, let's not forget about guiding your audience's gaze. Bright contrasting colors like a pop of yellow in the sea of grace can draw your eyes into the protagonist. This can be seen in the movie The Shining where Danny's bright and red tricycle stands out in the hotel's eerie muted color palette. But of course, I'm not just here to take your ears off, alright? I want to hear from you. Do you have any questions about how to use color in storytelling? Or maybe you've got some cool examples yourself to share. Drop them down in the comments below and let's keep this conversation rolling, alright? Now let's get back into it. Of course, color symbolism can add layers of meaning. Green, for instance, can symbolize growth and life as seen in The Great Gatsby with the ever-elusive green light. Like for instance, in Star Wars, where each of the Jedi Masters have different colors of lightsabers, that's how color can be part of visual storytelling. Remember, color isn't just about making things look pretty and bright. It's a storytelling superpower waiting to be unleashed. By harnessing the emotional impact, character development, setting the atmosphere, controlling visual hierarchy, and playing with symbolism, take your audience on a visual journey that they will never forget. Remember, this is just the beginning. The world of storytelling is vast, filled with endless possibilities, and I'm here to guide you every step of the way. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button, share this video with your creative tribe, and keep those questions and comments coming. Right? So together, we'll craft stories that will captivate, inspire, and leave lasting impressions. Until the next time, stay curious, keep creating, and as always, learn, create, and share. This is Paul, signing out. Catch you on the next video.